Look at this. Look at this room. It's the start of a campaign. We may need even a bigger one. We're gonna need a bigger boat, right? Yeah. <laughs> I work so hard because you matter, because we matter. You know, what, what, um, what Tom was saying, there is a, there is a concerted effort to, sh to say you don't matter. There's a concerted effort out there. Don't bother giving $5. The Koch brothers are gonna give a billion. Don't bother voting. You're in a district that's gonna go either all Democrat or all Republican. Don't bother running for office. We're gonna put an emergency manager in there. This is all by design to add up to say what? You don't matter. In this election cycle, more than ever, we have to stand up and say we matter. Because the stakes are enormous. They are enormous. You know, on one side, we've got a party that says, let's give all our money over to Wall Street. Well, we'll get taken care of. Everything else will be just great. Well, how's that worked out for us? Well, we've seen generation after generation of our kids and our grandkids go downstate or out of state for an education or for a job opportunity. But on the other side, we're saying, let's invest in people. Every single time we invest in people, it pays off. Every single time, whether it's in education, or college loans, or VA benefits, or Social Security, it pays off. And the other side is trying to cloud it up and say, oh no, let's give all our money to business. We matter. We matter. And we're gonna do that by using the same skills that we all have we were raised with here. Working hard, playing by the rules, never giving up. Those are the lessons and values I learned from a family with five generations of Northern Michigan history. Those are the lessons and values that taught me through a life of work. I was one of the first in my family to graduate from college. I was in Iraq as a civilian in 2005. I came home in six and worked for uh, uh, investing and growing U.S. manufacturing companies. I want to take those values, your values, my values, to Congress to do three things. Number one, we just need a government that's every bit as honest and hardworking as we are, the people that's paying for it. That means we need campaign finance reform. We need to end Citizens United and get these billions of dollars out of it. That means trade deals that aren't negotiated in secret that are going to ship our jobs overseas. We've got to say no to this TPP trade deal coming down the pike. Oh, yeah. There you go, Mr. Carlson. <laughs> that means we need a tax structure that's not rigged to, the, to, to, to benefit just the few, the wealthy and the well-connected. You, you shouldn't need a, you know, you shouldn't need a, 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 a love, you know, a, a, a bevy of accountants to do your, 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 uh, your, your taxes. We've got corporations, millionaires and billionaires, that are hiding their cash overseas. They're putting it in, in, in offshore accounts. If you and I tried that, 